Trump derangement syndrome, huh? Well, this is why, you know, most Trump supporters need to go get an education because they need to figure out what this is all about. So the allegation is that Democrats suffer from Trump derangement syndrome. What does this even mean? So psychologically speaking, first of all, let's get this off. Let's get this off to a good start. In psychology, they tell you that people who are offer, often suffering from some kind of psychotic delusion will try to project it onto somebody else. And oh, it's not me, it's them. They're the ones. And so they try to avoid, deflect, and deny any attention brought to them for their mental illness, which they're probably pretty much aware of on some level. So keeping that in mind, imagine that. You got all these rabid MAGA and Trump and Republican supporters claiming that the Democrats have Trump derangement syndrome. Wrong. The Republicans have Trump derangement syndrome and the MAGA supporters and anybody else, and I'll tell you why. So if you go and ask any one of these people, okay, and I'm serious, you go and ask any one of them in their life, you know, what, who they are, what they're about, they call, oh, I'm an evangelical Christian. Really? So you think it's okay to cheat on your wife? No, no, no. Christianity, Jesus said this and that, the other thing about, right, fornication out of wedlock and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. You're an evangelical Christian, Republican, fiscal conservative, blah, blah, blah. So it's okay to fudge the books? It's okay to fudge the books to cheat on your wife? See, the point is, is that in the beginning, the Republicans and the MAGA supporters wanted so desperately to support this person and have this person be their leader because they thought he was a successful businessman and cool guy and whatever, right? And little by little, one you know, myth after another was destroyed about this person for them. And they had to come to grips with the fact that he wasn't such a successful businessman. He went into bankruptcy several times. Not such a, not such a successful businessman when he had to pay half a billion dollars in fines to a court for defrauding the state of New York. Not such a successful businessman when you commit 34 felonies to fudge the books to pay your porno star so your wife doesn't know. Which, by the way, he probably tries to still tell his wife today that it never happened. You got to believe me. <laughs> They're all wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? Jesus Christ. Talk about Trump derangement syndrome. Melania is the number one sufferer of Trump derangement syndrome because she still somehow has to believe he's a good guy because she's still with him. Man, that's got to suck. <laughs> so getting back to this, though. So the Republicans believed that this guy was their leader and they wanted him so badly to be their leader. And then little by little... They found out all these horrible things about him. And even though all those horrible things about him didn't jive with their personal beliefs and, you know, religious beliefs and social beliefs and ethics, they still had to somehow find out, figure a way to support him. And that's the Trump derangement syndrome. They are still advocating that he should be a leader when it is quite obvious that he shouldn't be a leader. Because again, if you go back to these people and ask them on an individual basis whether they think it's okay to lie, whether they think it's okay to cheat or steal or commit fraud or cheat on your wife or kill people or even order the deaths of people or allow the deaths of people. When he was president, he allowed Jamal Khashoggi to die. And it was Prince Mohammed bin Salman, his buddy, who killed him. And he didn't do anything. He just allowed these things to happen. And in, in case anybody doesn't really remember... Maybe you ought to consider this one. Who released the coronavirus? Because after Trump lost, he said a very interesting statement. If I remember correctly, he said the reason why he lost was all those people who should have died didn't... All these people who, who, who should have died voted for the other guy. What? What are you talking about? Are you trying to make a direct reference to coronavirus killing people? who were gonna vote against you? That's pretty heinous. Definitely should never be president again. And if the Republicans don't wake up and smell the coffee, that's their problem. Uh, because I don't think anybody else in the country, I don't. I, I think probably half the Republicans are probably not gonna vote for him anyway. And so I, I don't think we have to worry. Because now that he, he's really been fully exposed as this lying, cheating, fraudulent, corrupt, 
jackass, asshole, racist, possibly pedophilic, possibly incestuous. Uh, you know, who, who can really conscious? Who can really vote for this person, except for somebody who suffers from Trump derangement syndrome, which is really what the Republicans are suffering from, not the Democrats. Leopold Richard Bamagrella is reporting to you on the true nature of Trump derangement syndrome and how the Republicans and their party are about to go the way of the buffalo because of it.